Morning. It's uh, miserable but mild in London this morning. <clears throat> so I thought before I crack on with, with another acrylic, I'll do a watercolour to keep the water, to try to keep the watercolourists happy. A pot spoiler really. Got me nightmare uh, vinyl gloves, gloves on. My hands very dry from handling the wet rag and the split was. Okay, so um, a, a sort of a lake, lake, lake scene, but I want uh, to put something like a, a rocky shore coming down there, and we'll put a horizon over here. Try to keep it horizontal with with a sort of some foliage coming up here. That's about all the drawing. Just a, an aid memoir. I'll make it up as it goes on. Got my cup of tea. Ah, well, I've got it. It's my palette. Excuse me. I'll just reach across. It's been keeping moist since the last one I did, but I think I did one Monday. I'm not sure. I've had to do some carpet work this week. Getting a bit, bit too old, quite really, but uh, nice to get out. Occasionally I'll do a bit a bit and I come back and I'm just too tired for doing anything else. But anyway, here we are. There's the uh, lemon yellow, very, very dirty. Uh, raw sienna, lizard and crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey, and burnt sienna. So I'll, uh, I'll wet the paper, wet in wet. Ron Manson, when he first came up with all this, these colours, they're, they're Cotman watercolours, student quality, very good for for this. And this Fabriano, Stephen Cronin came up with, because it's so cheap and it's good, good for wetting wet. Okay, now I need a cloth, handy. Right, okay. Right, let's put a sky in. Now I like burnt sienna, I, I like colourful now. I'm trying to get more colour out of these. So let's, bit of a lizard. Put it in the water. And then oh, I'll put my cloth there. Right, bit of bit of sky, so a bit of, Bit of uh, Payne's Grey, bit of Ultramarine, bit of Elizabeth and Crimson, quite easy. I didn't uh, wet the paper enough, I don't think. Mm, it's dry, isn't it? Let's it, let's get that colour in. Okay. Well, that's quite, quite interesting sky. Just the three colours. And we'll just balance over here. Right, okay. Right, I'm just going to give that a quick, quick dry now. I'll just just reclip it. So dry a bit. I don't really want the the background to draw, to merge into into that uh, sky. We will fix the sky. That nice burst. Okay. We've got a nice burst of light coming through. Uh, right. Okay. I want to just dry brush over that with these, these cloud colours, reflection. Uh, and rocks on the bottom. Uh, let's just 
It's a nice draw ahead, it'll, it'll, it'll flat, it'll very flat. It'll take some, some dry brush. And I'll do the reflections at the end. Right, let's put the mountains in now, so a bit of blue, a bit of alizarin. And that burnt sienna, get some nice warm, warm in here, a bit of burnt umber. And I can put some greens under that, a bit of red, some watery colours. And then mix a bit of blue with that. Add some interest over there in that foreground, middle distance uh, horizon. You need to use thick paint if you're painting wet in wet, and you want the the next wash to to register. You need to do thick. Otherwise, it'll just bleed out. Now, yeah, nice extra bit of sienna in there. You can add some greens. Uh, what I forgot to do is finish that off. Right, I can put our paint up into that. Uh, right, a bit of green, but a bit of yellow, a bit of brown, and a grey. Too too wet. You need the cloth to just to take off that excess moisture. I know some of you struggle with the with the hay when you first start using it. It does take a, quite a bit of getting used to. But nobody said it was it was easy. I didn't anyway. We say easy painting, but it's not. Right, that'll do for a minute. Let's go in with the uh, with this side here. So we want some nice greens. And we'll uh, There's rocks and stuff in here. So alizarin, oh, all the colours now. God, come here. Got some hair sticking out of the brush. This is where we're going to have some fun with the, with the plastic card. Nice warm rich colours in this foreground. Don't forget the greens. Get nice red colours in here. And then some pure red. Right, okay, put the hake in there and get the card and we'll start to to lift out some of these these rocks. Try to be a bit creative with these. Nice new apron, but I don't care. I don't think it's looking too new, do I? Okay, now on top of that, I can put some foliage.
Right, let's wet the paper, go with a clean brush, clean water, I mean clean water. So we just go across here. Right now we'll put in those colours, see. Try and get that horizontal and then put, put those colours in that you can see above. And then we've got this alizarin, a bit of blue. Just a little bit of sienna for this bit here. And then we've got some blue behind, so let's just put that in. Right, that's about as good as I can do with the, the board at about 60 degrees. Right, now I want to just put some texture in here. I'll dry it off. So now we'll just put in some some dark greeny foliage. Right, let's come up here with uh, some of this bit of green. Warmer. Colours as well. Use a lot of burnt sienna because it's a lovely, warm, rich red. It's not really brown. Okay. It's just a general texture in here. I'll use a, a rigger in a minute. I'll put, I'll put some branches and stuff in there. Dark green. Okay, well, let's uh come with the hike, let's uh, put in some some rigor.
Oh, there we go. Oh, I need to do something there. Right, just a bit of dry brush, a bit of, bit of awesome dry brush. Oh, wind. Oh, that's better. I, I, I can go back into that when it's dry. Right, um, with the thirsty hake, that means a damp brush. It's just keep it clean. You do this, it's just the uh, wind ruffle. Okay, a couple of birds. Um, I put a couple of yachts on the, on the edge there. That's a bit better. I tend to paint into the light so that branches and things are silhouetted. Right, that'll do. Just a little sign. Right, I'll put that in a, in a mount and we'll have a oops, have a look and see what it's like. Uh, take my gloves off. Thing is when you uh, get your hands really wet over days they dry out and then you do physical work like I do as a carpet fitter, occasional now, they, they split and it gets really uh, sore. So I have to cover them up until the skin grows back again. Right, okay. So a medical lesson as well. Right, there we are. So one, one simple lake scene. I'll bring the camera around. Oh, there we are, that doesn't look too bad. Quite pleased with that. I hope you are. Right, crack on with the acrylics now. So you've got your watercolour. I hope it's okay. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye.